بسم اللہ الرحمن رحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ اے ویری انٹرسٹنگ ایریا اینڈ دیر از دا رول آف میڈیا دی افیکٹیونیس آف میڈیا دی امپلیکیشنز آف میڈیا اینڈ ہاؤ دی میڈیا پلیز اٹس رول ایز اے واچ ڈاگ ایز اے ڈسیمنیٹر آف انفارمیشن ریل انفارمیشن ٹو سوسائٹی ہاؤ اٹ ٹینس ٹو ڈسیمنیٹ انفارمیشن سو دیٹ دی ادر اسٹیک ہولڈرز کین میک ڈسیزنس ان اے بیٹر وے today we are going to be looking at shareholder response to media coverage so again based upon media coverage what should or do the stakeholders basically do because the information coming in from the media would be able and would enable the different shareholders to take uh, decisions prudent or non prudent both now when we talking about this uh, the theory of the market for corporate control indicates that shareholders of inefficiently managed companies may dispose of their shares if management pursue their interests shareholders can exit and sell their shares so again what we see ladies and gentlemen is is that if the right information is given to the shareholders then based upon that they can make um, different type of decisions and if the management is being corrupt or uh, being uh, nepotistic or doing things which are inappropriate or illegal then they always have this option to sell their shares and that is very important uh, so if they start selling their shares then the price of the shares would plummet and could also uh, make the company close down uh, at an eventual stage so they have a lot of power but that power comes through the specific information which they are receiving from the different media uh, the information to shareholders about management comes from the media media pessimism in firm performance fluctuates the ship so if we see that the if the media becomes pessimistic of one particular organization or of some organizations then we see that their share price tends to plummet and then many people and many shareholders start offloading their shares which would then have uh, what we call is a domino effect that then uh, it would affect uh, the organization performance the organization productivity the product roll out and then again there would be the swing back action whereby we would see that the stock price would start plummeting say for uh, media uh pessimism has to be managed and controlled very effectively by different organizations Indiv- individual investors overreact to media scrutiny of governance practices of firms so once uh, the shareholders or inv- individual investors or institutional investors see that media is now targeting one particular organization then they become very apprehensive because no organization is perfect and if media does uh, its investigation in the right way then many loopholes uh, can be identified which would have a huge detrimental effect on the uh, on the productivity and performance of the organization and especially of its shares in the stock market movement in share price enforces the management to reform governance policy so uh, again what we see is that when uh, there is fluctuation either up or down then it enables the board of director to realign and recalibrate itself in a better way and ensure uh, that it has some constructive and progressive policies in hand so that whatever slide is taking place in the stock market that can be stopped there are alternative options available to the shareholders who receive news of management negligence active owners can be able to reduce the information cost by becoming effective monitors so what we are seeing and talked about much earlier uh, in corporate governance module is that now the shareholders and the stakeholders are becoming very effective monitors of the organization because they have a vested interest and because they are all one especially when we are talking about one particular organization and everyone wants to see the organization basically flourishing not only a few individuals flourishing so that becomes uh, very important investors can collectively seek the opportunity to improve the corporate management strategies of the firm through sophisticated communication strategies so nowadays we talk about communication strategies we got talk about communication specialists we talk about communication experts we talk about media experts and good organizations and even sometimes media mid mid level organizations are now hiring communication experts and media experts to ensure that they get good publicity so that their credibility gets enhanced rather than uh, tarnished or damaged shareholders may improve uh, the standard of monitoring using proxy contests to make changes in the board so again uh, that can also be there that based upon the information which is coming even the constitution or the fabric of the board could be changed to make it more effective and to make it more positively and progressively inclined so that is very important and we see that media has been playing uh, this this mega role to ensure that there is more accountability across the board to all the sections uh, of that particular organization so by making use of their right to vote in an organized manner institutional investors 
uh, may initiate debate over policies. And that is what we see that when the information comes to uh, the different institutional investors, then through the right of vote, they can rectify, recalibrate, realign, uh, reconstitute, uh, reform uh, the organization. And uh, they can use their right to vote in the right way. And therefore, as a whole, what we see is, is that shareholders' response to media has many uh, different channels. And through those different channels, uh, the, the shareholders can uh, influence and also uh, can ensure uh, that the different segments within the institution can work in a better way, uh, in more harmony and uh, in tandem with each other and create uh, effective uh, results, efficient uh, processes for the organization which would actually benefit everyone at the end of the day. And therefore, media plays a very, very important role in corporate governance. Thank you so much.